I'm just gonna push that. God. No. Up. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. This is going to be our player start, I think. And we have another player start, apparently. Delete that one. We should be able to go this way. I need that smoothed out. Don't manage. Segments plane. I'm gonna have to change this because it doesn't. There's collision on it, but it's not registering. That's not good. Um, simple and complex. Block all. Save. Hit play. Um, you wonder how my uh, system's holding up? Are you ready for this? 
Let me rise up into the air like like God. Ready? Okay. Oh, where was I? Ah. I mean, right here. This is the low point. This is probably the least amount of FPS I'm going to get. But this can be fixed very easily. Uh, 5,000. And a minimum 5,000. Actually, let's try 1,000. Max 2,000. Light map eight. Distance movable. I do want to add What was I doing? <sighs> and no, I'm running off an HDD as well, and it has no effect on the speed at all of your computer um, when you're working with Unreal Engine 4, because UE4 can only render as fast as it's allowed to compile kind of thing. So, you know, most of the time... Your disk usage is barely going to be used. Like that's my SSD. I think I'm, I'm working from this one right here. Uh, view, option, always on top. Okay, we're going to use always on top. So watch this disk. And when we move. It's barely being touched. So your HDD is fine. I think you just need better materials. Uh, better... Wh what... Uh, what 3D models are you using? Where do they come from? Your best bet would probably be to get more RAM. You need a minimum of 16 gigs if you're going to do anything like this. Okay. Um, you're watching probably right now, so you want a little bit of pointers on how to optimize a little bit better? because I could easily show you how to optimize really quick. Uh, first things first, your landscape. I'm going to show you something. Remember my settings, they're 5 and 2, okay? Where is it? 
You see how it's all smoothed out now? It's not as bumpy. It wants some performance. Two and five. It will allow the distance farther out to uh, be less poly. If that makes any sense. Let's try wireframe to show you. Like, look at the distance. It's ridiculous. Put it at nine. And at three. And you still got all these freaking polys everywhere. What matters is what's in front of you. Behind you can be as rendered as possible, but in front of you, just try to... Can I grab the ground again? Ground, ground. Ah, there we go. Fifteen. Five. Look at that FPS boost. No difference at all to anywhere except for points like this. So if I turn this back down to five, four, turn back up to 10. You understand? You gotta optimize your terrain as much as you gotta optimize everything else. And where the hell was I? What's over here? You gotta get them FPS boosts. You can turn this up to 9 if you wanted to. If only the distance is affected. So your LODs are affected, but not in a way that it will hurt you if you have enough foliage. Now we're running at 120 FPS. So most of the problems people have is they don't have LODs on their trees, their grass, their bushes, and their landscape. Once you have LODs on all three of those, you're golden. Like with Ark, the Ark landscape is just disgustingly detailed and they don't have any LODs on it and that ends up being problematic in the end so if the devs decided to chuck some LODs on that landscape of theirs you would have 120 FPS at all times right, you could barely tell the difference of what I've done but in reality I've taken away so many polys that it's ridiculous. Look, look at that. The farther away you go, the more LODs kick in and the less detail your map has. Now, if you give me a minute, I can find out what else is this all about. Somebody at everyone again. I'm gonna try to find you my meshes. Um, engine four, foliage free. Let's try this. Assets free? No, not that one. Not you. Not you. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. 